How accurate is the salt homemade pregnancy test? You have done the pregnancy test at home and you have used salt as the main main ingredient in testing for the pregnancy. Yes, there are many many uh, there are many claims online, both online and the, uh, both offline. There are many claims that the home pregnancy test whereby you get salt and then you add in urine can give you results which are real or which are genuine. But there are no studies. There is no one. There is no documented evidence to show that probably the homemade or pregnancy test for salt is really very reliable the main reason is that although hcg levels will increase exponentially when a woman gets pregnant that is in early pregnancy the most the most important thing we need to know is that when a woman gets pregnant there is a hormone called the human chorionic gonadotropin hormone or hcg hormone hcg is that is that hormone that is released when a woman gets pregnant it increases when the fertilized egg travels to the uterus and then implantation or burrowing takes place in other words when the growth of the embryo or the growth of your baby in early pregnancy is taking place this hormone known as hcg is released Hello, welcome to our channel. I'm Gerard Massa, the health educator. On this channel, we talk about pregnancy-related questions. We answer all your pregnancy-related questions. We also do talk about conditions including fertility, infertility, endometriosis, endometritis, and also we do discuss issues regarding polycystic ovarian syndrome. Let me know if you have any questions and welcome for today's lesson. You are most welcome and stay with me today as we talk about today's topic. Welcome. The issue is this. The question we should ask is, does salt react with the HCG hormone? Because lots of claims are out there saying that the salt reacts with the HCG. But since there is no documented proof, there is no documented evidence to add to confirm that yes, salt reacts with the HCG, we would really advise that please, if you want to have accurate results for pregnancy, if you want to get results that are genuine, you need to go and talk to your doctor, you need to go see your doctor who will request or who will perform tests on you that have been tested, that have been proven to work. These include the urine HCG pregnancy test where the doctor or your lab technician, your lab person will test your urine for the HCG hormone using the test strips. Now, there are many, there are lots of test strips out there in the market. There are those that are digital, then there are those that are not digital. The most, the most important point here is that you should do the pregnancy test in hospital where you will use those strips you can actually even buy them at your nearest pharmacy and you can do the pregnancy test at home if you get one line then it is negative if you get two lines even though one is faint please that is a positive the only issue is that you may need to wait for a few uh, weeks for the hcg hormone levels to increase and then the line may become darker but the most important lesson you need to take in today's video is that the only test that is advised is the urine pregnancy test done in hospital by a qualified person or even you yourself doing it at home it is really reliable if still you are in doubt and you would like to go a step further then we will advise that you do what we call the serological hcg test or the blood hcg test here it's also done in hospital but your doctor will take a sample of your blood and look for the levels of hcg normally normal is supposed to be 12,000 mil international units and above but if at all anything the hcg levels are below 12,000 maybe let us say you could be in 500 and then that would be really very low so the 
second pregnancy test that is confirmed to be really reliable is the blood hcg test the first is the urine hcg test the second the second is the blood hcg test and lastly if you are still in doubt then we advise that you go ahead and have what we call a pelvic ultrasound scan pelvic specifically we are we are recommending the pelvic ultrasound scan also known in some countries as the gynecological ultrasound scan the main reason we are recommending this type of scan because there are several types of scans out there the main reason we are recommending the pelvic ultrasound scan is that it can give a whole complete picture of your reproductive system it will analyze the layers of your lining of your uterine lining of course we have three layers we have the myometria we have the endometria and then we have the perimetria so in early pregnancy the endometrial lining or the endometrial stripe or the inside of your the inner lining the inner layer of tissue the inner layer of your uterine lining normally becomes thickened and it becomes very bright your doctor will analyze this and in most cases you will even your doctor may even see a gestational sac with an embryo growing in of course that is if at all the pregnancy is at around seven weeks eight weeks onwards if at all the pregnancy is below eight weeks please you may need to take some time off and wait to have the scan repeated because if you rush and you do the scan when it is not yet eight weeks it may show us that the gestational sac is empty but in reality it may be a normal pregnancy which was going to go on but if you do rush and your doctor does not take like lots of like uh lo lo does not take lots of uh, care when doing the scan the doctor may easily tell this to be a blighted ovum or an embryonic pregnancy so as a word of caution you should make sure that you do the ultrasound scan at at least eight weeks onwards if at all there is an emergency maybe a woman a mother is bleeding and maybe she has lots of uh, uh, vaginal bleeding then we advise you can have the ultrasound scan done in today's lesson we've been discussing the accurateness or how accurate is the salt homemade pregnancy test and we have recommended that please the home pregnancy test is not really very accurate the main reason is that there is no documented evidence to confirm there are no controls there are no studies that have been done to confirm that yes it is reliable so the advice what you should take home is that you should go to hospital talk to your doctor and let them do the best tests that have been researched on and that are recommended and these include the urine pregnancy test the blood hcg pregnancy test and the pelvic ultrasound scan no matter which country you are from no matter where you live these three will confirm to you whether you are pregnant or you are not pregnant they will also help to address issues that may be disturbing gerard massa the health educator is the name of the channel before you go remember to subscribe hit the bell for notifications so that you get new videos i put out every day and also please ask me all your questions in regards to reproductive health in regards to women health i will answer them personally ask me all your questions share and like this this video so that many of our viewers may get to get this information have yourself a fantastic and blessed day may god bless us all gerard massa the health educator is the name of the channel bye bye